Ron Rhodes once said, the importance of studying Bible prophecy is found in the fact that about 25% of divine revelation was prophetic when originally written. In other words, one out of every four verses in the Bible is prophetic in nature. We reserve a few minutes to discuss current trends that you'd expect from reading Bible prophecy. We are futurists. That means we interpret unfulfilled end times prophecies as future events that will occur in a literal, physical, apocalyptic, and global context. Biometrics, artificial intelligence, cashless commerce, the manipulation of human DNA, global government, the exponential growth of human knowledge, and the rebirth of national Israel are all end times prophecies that the Bible predicts. All of these are increasingly trending in the news. Artificial intelligence, or AI, might have a role in the future Great Tribulation. It could, for example, power something called the image of the beast. Now, in the Revelation, the beast is the primary name for the man we call the Antichrist, and then he has an assistant called the false prophet. And here's what we read about those guys in chapter 13. It says, Those who dwell on the earth will make an image to the Antichrist. He will be granted power to give breath to the image of the Antichrist, that the image of the Antichrist should both speak and cause as many as would not worship the image to be killed. He causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and slave, to receive a mark on their right hand or on their foreheads, and that no one may buy or sell except the one who has the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Uh, and so there will be a, some type of an image that um, seems to have life, and it will be able to kill people uh, and police uh, people. And so uh, it, will AI give breath to the image of the beast and function as a terminator? It, it sounds funny, but it's actually very fascinating to consider. AI is getting spooky if you follow developments in artificial intelligence. Many of the top minds of our day have been sounding a warning for some time regarding AI becoming sentient and having a will of its own. Former Google CEO Eric Schmidt compared AI to nuclear weapons and called for a deterrent regime similar to the mutually assured destruction that keeps the world's most powerful countries from enjoying, uh, destroying each other. Rather, Schmidt talked about the dangers of AI at the Aspen Security Forum at a panel on national security and artificial intelligence. While fielding a question about the value of morality in technology, Schmidt explained that he had been naive about the power of information in the early days of Google. He then called for tech to be better in line with the ethics and morals of the people it serves, and he compared it to nuclear weapons. Meanwhile, Google fired Blake Lemoyne, the engineer who said he believes the company's Lambda conversational technology is already sentient. Uh, Google says, no, that's just not true. Research lab OpenAI's uh, Open top scientist, a guy named Ilya Stutvesker, has claimed that the largest neural networks may already be developing consciousness. OpenAI was founded in December of 2015. Elon Musk, along with Stutgeiver, was one of the original founders and participated in the company's early days out of his concern for the potential threat AI poses to humanity. Musk has warned that we need to be super careful uh, with, with AI as they are potentially more dangerous than nukes. Suskiver's role as the top scientist at one of the leading AI firms gives him an insight that few others have. If he was really being literal in his estimation, it is truly ominous. The fact that many experts believe AI consciousness is a ways off is also an indication the industry still lacks the necessary safeguards to prevent Musk's fears from coming true. Uh, they've coined a new name for sentient AI. They are calling them soul machines. Uh, not, obviously, they won't have a soul the way a human being does, but they're trying to talk about the, you know, what kind of life will a sentient robot have. Uh, and none of this is none of this is science fiction. I mean, you know, this is this isn't. These are scientists uh, that are talking about this, and these are things that are happening right now. One more really creepy story. Dall E, D A L L E, is an AI system that creates realistic images and art from a description in natural language. And so you talk to this uh, Dall E, tell it what you want you to, to draw, and it prints out and publishes this image for you. 
A TikTok account dedicated to asking artificial intelligence disturbing questions revealed what Dali thinks the last selfie on Earth would look like. Each AI-generated image shows apocalyptic scenes. They all include mutilated humans holding phones as chaos ensues around them. <clears throat> machines, the rise of the machines is what this is. Now, we're not saying that AI will definitely fulfill the prophecy of giving breath to the image of the beast. But if you had to wager, if you had to guess, you'd think, hey, that's a candidate. It's something that we never would have dreamed possible that now is not only possible, it's probably way ahead of what they're telling us. And even some expert, every article you read, it's like, well, Elon Musk and Sky Vecker and uh, Stephen Hawking and all of these different geniuses, they're all warning us, but it's okay. Everything's going to be fine. We're not that far along. And y you've seen science fiction movies by the time they're ready, it's too late. Ultron has already taken over and the Avengers aren't coming. And so it's just, it's a very interesting scenario. So AI is something expected by futurists like ourselves. We're not surprised by developments like this. Now we believe the rapture and resurrection of the church are imminent. It could happen any moment. Nothing needs to happen before it. Uh, meaning that we are not going to be in any part of the Great Tribulation. We see these things preparing and precursors. We don't know how much of this we'll see in terms of cashless society and global government and all that. We're not going to be here for the Great Tribulation. The Lord will come and take his church. He promised that we would not go through the wrath to come, which is going to fall out upon the earth. And that's good, but that means you need to be ready for the rapture. Are you? If not, get ready and stay ready and keep looking up because ready or not, Jesus is coming.